In this video, I'm building a Lego museum with over 100 exhibits for art, science, history, and a lot more. For our first exhibit, we gotta build the museum's curator. This is Harriet, a former art student who inherited this place from her dad. She doesn't know the first thing about running a museum. And I have no clue how to build one either, especially with the limited space we have. This is my Lego city called 24ville, and this is where our museum is supposed to go. But with the train track running through the middle, we really only have this corner to work with. I couldn't figure out how to build the front wall at this weird angle, so let's just start with the back wall, which is two bricks thick to avoid having the inner side look super ugly. I use studs on the side bricks to attach all these paintings to the wall for our first proper exhibit, which already takes up most of the museum. So here's the thing. I want each exhibit to be pretty big, but there just isn't enough room to fit them all in here at once. So I'm gonna make them modular so we can rotate through all 100 individually and then combine parts from each of them at the end to make one ultimate exhibit. Harry had a few of these ready to go that her dad left behind in storage, like a textiles exhibit, this creepy spider exhibit, and a wax figure exhibit that literally no one is gonna guess the theme of. Oh, Abraham Lincoln melted. Whoops. She tried making her own exhibit using what she learned at art school, but it did not go well. And all the museum critics hated it. If she was gonna get to 100 and not go out of business, she needed to call in the experts. This is Harriet's art professor, Dr. Giuseppe, and he started painting replicas of famous paintings I built in Lego, like the Mona Lisa, Starry Night, The Scream, and that one with the pitchfork guy. I had to set up this red velvet rope made with hot dog pieces to keep the art safe, and they look kind of ridiculous with all the stuff sticking out the back like this, but it's an absolute banger of an exhibit. Giuseppe also created a bunch of landscapes, portraits, still lifes, and abstract art. You gotta turn your head to see this one. There's exhibits for all the different styles of art too, like impressionism, surrealism, realism, cubism, I baroque a brown piece, and pop with all these soup cans. Oh shoot, I spilled it all over the next painting. Ugh. Well, we can just call it modern art. Absolutely no idea what's going on with this exhibit. Like that guy just signed a toilet, what the heck? I used a lot of sideways building techniques to make these atomically correct statues in the sculpture exhibit, and Lego Bob Ross even made an exhibit filled with happy little trees. Harriet was glad a real artist was able to get us up to 20, but at this point, Giuseppe brought in his colleague, Dr. Bill, the science professor. Bill, 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 Bill. Okay, I guess that's a Bill exhibit. But he helped Harriet throw together a chemistry exhibit with all these vials filled with clear stud pieces. Okay, what if we mix them all together? No, too much, too much. We should probably move on to something safer. So I stacked up a lot of small bricks and twisted them into some DNA for the genetics exhibit. Then we've got the parts of a cell exhibit, except I can't remember what the mitochondria does. Hmm. Anyways, this one is all about the human body with all the different bones, organs, and muscles that minifigures apparently have. We'll get to some different kinds of bones later, but for now, Bill wanted to make a periodic table exhibit, commonly mistaken with a picnic table exhibit. And even though we don't have time to build every element in Lego, I did make some exhibits for sulfur, uranium, Boron, sulfur again, chromium with these really satisfying chrome pieces, iodine, and beryllium. Speaking of which, please consider subscribing if you're enjoying the video. I spent a ridiculous amount of time building all these exhibits, like this clock exhibit, and I'm racing my friend RJM Bricks to a million subs. And I designed this Minecraft redstone exhibit with a working Lego piston. Loser has to make a parody of the winner's most popular video. But before Harriet is able to unveil her dad's greatest treasure in the final exhibit, we have to speed run through a few more fun science ones. Like an exhibit for the phases of the moon, magnetism, the three states of matter, the four different seasons, you wanna build a snowman, and an electricity exhibit. Wait, that gives me an idea. What about an electronics exhibit? Or a robotics exhibit with all the spark bots? There's too many at this point. But we're halfway there. For transportation exhibits, we've got planes, trains, and automobiles. We got my man Lightning McQueen. As well as bikes, hot air balloons, and boats as a throwback to my last 100 video. It floats. My favorite museum as a kid had this boat race exhibit using real water, so that got a little bit moist, but luckily the Zorbies exhibit helped clean it all up. And with the mechanical and virus exhibits done, that's more than enough science for Harriet. What she really wants is to go out into the world and actually discover new exhibits with the help of her archaeology professor, Dr. Henry Jones. In a museum. They landed in Egypt, where India tracked down this tomb with these goofy looking Anubis statues, a ton of snakes, and the Ark of the Covenant. This place was a marvel of ancient craftsmanship, 
And they broke it. Okay. Well, let's get out of here with our three new exhibits in tow as they travel to Peru, known for its llamas and guinea pigs, and it's where this Chachapoyan temple was located. Try saying that five times fast. Chachapoyan, 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 Chachapoyan. Okay, that's actually pretty easy. But the temple had a gauntlet of booby traps they had to dodge to get to this golden idol. Okay, they keep breaking things, but after narrowly avoiding being flattened, they were able to safely bring three more exhibits home. I like that boulder. Let's celebrate our success with an ice cream exhibit sponsored by Willy and Wonka's ice cream truck over at the farmer's market. And look at that. Garrett is finally home in the present and was finally reunited with his son. Someone actually made fan art for this exact moment, along with so many other talented artists. I tried to print out and hang up as many as I possibly could, and there was so so much we filled up 11 different fan art exhibits with it all. Thank you so much to everyone who sent something in. But because Garrett has plenty of experience traveling through time, he's gonna be perfect to help build the final 20 history exhibits. He even dressed up like the university's history professor, Dr. Peterson, who never actually showed up. But Garrett knew exactly where around the city to excavate for the fossils of a T-Rex skeleton for the paleontology exhibit, as well as Amber, the stone sculpture, a random pair of pants, and Chuck even donated that weird looking egg he found in the desert. This might be my favorite exhibit so far. Fossils. Da, da, da. And we can reuse some of the fake plants for a caveman exhibit with these very lifelike wax figures of Diego and company. It's so cool to see these familiar faces again. But for the medieval exhibit, they simulated a floating island, orcs, and a castle in the center. And because just one castle is not enough, let's rebuild a tribute to Castle Crunch as well. It was delicious, by the way. Garrett's most recent adventure in the French Revolution inspired me to build this mini Eiffel Tower guillotine and flag for the France exhibit. They even found this French doghouse completely preserved with an actual dog living inside it. And the time machine certainly came in handy for traveling to additional eras, like ancient Egypt with its pyramids and mummies, ancient China with its great wall and dragons, the ancient Mayan civilization with all their golden artifacts, and even ancient Rome. They kept meeting very familiar looking carrot farmers literally every time. I don't know what's going on there. But it looks like the time machine completely ran out of fuel after using it so much. Oops. We're just gonna have to guess what the other periods look like now. Like the Renaissance, featuring Leonardo, Donatello, and those other guys. Or the Wild West, using these bush pieces as tumbleweeds. Or the days when pirates ruled the seven seas. Or was that the Vikings? I don't remember. And this is what we're going with for the future exhibit. I, I think we nailed it. Some historical events near and dear to my heart include the founding of America with the Declaration of Independence, the founding of Lego when they actually first made wooden toys like ducks or rocking horses using wooden scraps, and most importantly, the founding of my faith when Jesus died for me and rose again. Finally, with exhibits showing the history of our first Lego city, 22ville, and of course our second city, 23ville, we only have one exhibit remaining. Before we can open up this box and see what Harriet's dad was protecting all this time, we need to actually build the front wall using all sorts of illegal techniques to get this part angled, and slap our roof on top with this cool dome skylight thing and the T-Rex skeleton proudly on display. With the ridiculously cool exterior now all done, I chose one one part from every exhibit so far to create this crazy mishmash of everything on the inside. Can you find which elements came from which exhibits? I feel like I'm looking at one of those I Spy books. But the final piece of the puzzle is the Temporal Jade, an ancient meteoric crystal with the power to bend time itself. Harriet's father never told a soul he found it, until he tried to get his daughter accepted into art school by giving the professors a personal tour. Hand it over. Dr. Peterson, Giuseppe, Bill, and Indy had been after the jade from the beginning. They knew the only way Harriet would unlock it was to help her make all 100 exhibits. And now nothing was stopping them from... While everyone was distracted with the dinosaur, Garrett swooped in just in time. And together, they used the exhibits to help fend off the professors. With swords and armor from all across history, priceless works of art being wielded as shields, and harnessing the ultimate power of science, they fought with all they had. The evil educators were defeated, and we could put the museum in 24ville at last for the grand opening. But it turns out someone else wanted the jade too. I challenge you to a competition. Winner takes all. 